It's game day five for Great Britain at the World Championship here in the magnificent O2 Arena. GB are playing the host Czechia. This building is already very loud. It's going to be full with over 17,000 people in. Most of the week, the neutrals, the Czech fans, have been supporting GB. Tonight they'll be against them as GB go up against one of the biggest teams in the world. GB did really well last night against Denmark in a brave 4-3 defeat. One of the best performances ever seen, said head coach Pete Russell. What of tonight's game? Let's find out with Aaron Murphy and the former GB forward, Paul Lady. Plays it to O'Connor. As you mentioned, no Tetlow and no Shooter in this one. Lucas Bryan also not a part of the, the game day roster. And a part of the game day roster is Lucas Sedlak. And Sedlak makes no mistake. That's his second of the tournament. Early goal, Czechia. They lead 1 0. Again, it's that one pass and up through the middle. GB playing really wide. Could have been a bit of a late change right there. Richardson just goes a little bit too far to recover. And the back check is a bit slow coming back for GB. Up the right wing. And Roman Trevenka's got a real spring in his step this evening. He's already had two partial breakaways. And his bust through the middle led to the first goal. Here's Krejcik scores! Jakob Krejcik with his first of the tournament. It's 2-0 in Czechia. Well, Czechia done really well early in this period as they've gone from low to high and then they use the width of the ice, making it tough on GB with GB having four forwards swarming the one corner of the ice. Czechia reacted by moving the puck up quickly and then wide. And then they just picked the top corner there. Whistle pull for the extra attacker. Kasha flips it forward. Here's Trevenka. Trevenka with a chance, sends across ice, they score! Sedlak has his second. What a finish on the two-on-one. It's 3 nothing Czechia. Well, GB just get caught with only one defenseman back, and uh, it's just too easy for Czechia. Grew up, pinches down the boards, but no forward stays back on the opposite side to help out. It's their back of the net before they can blink. And <laughs> what's, the, what's the defenseman supposed to do there? Here's Kirk. Kirk with a chance. Kirk, they score! Magnificent! A power play goal for Great Britain. Mosey was in front. And Mosey will get his first of the tournament. They're back in this one. It's a 3-1 hockey game. Well, it's just a nice play. Kirk has his head up, and he's looking to the front of the net. They win the faceoff. Kirk goes to the boards, comes up top. He gets the pass back from O'Connor, has his head up. Mosey goes to the front of the net, puts the stick down. Kirk reads that, makes the perfect pass right on the tape. Mosey just says, well, this is an easy one. I'll take that. Spot check. Shervenka. Shervenka down low to the bumper position. Kasha scores. Andre Kasha with a power play goal. It's 4-1 Czechia. Hard to react to that when you're a penalty killer. Before bounce, you can see the puck. It's in the back of the net. Shervenka head up. Quick little pass to Sedla. Great to Kasha. It's in the back of the net. Chuck, I know it's another defeat, but I heard you coaches talking just before we started here. You've got so many positives, I'm sure, about taking the eighth best team in the world so deep into a game. Yeah, I mean, we walked into a hostile environment. Nobody, very few people in the building were uh, rooting for Great Britain in that game, except, of course, the Barmy Army. Um, so it was a great environment to play in. Our guys, I thought, especially the last 40 minutes, competed and went toe to toe with, like you said, one of the best teams in the in the world. Um, you know, adding another NHLer to their lineup today. Um, you know, the rich got richer a little bit, but uh, when all was said and done, our guys competed and we gave ourselves a chance. 4-1 really going into the third period. We get one on that power play and it might have been a little different, but, you know, we didn't give up a lot of grade A chances in the second and third. You know, we had to kind of rope a dope them a little bit in the first period. Um, but when all was said and done, we're proud of the steps that we're, we're continuing to take on the ice. Cheshire, when they get going, they can score goals for fun. So how proud were you with the team at times defensively tonight? Well, they have size, they have pace, they have structure. You know, hat off to them. You know, they, they, 
did their homework on how we want to play defensively, um, and they tried to expose it. And uh, we made a couple adjustments, and I was proud of the guys again for just it, it, taking coaching and on the fly. Sometimes in those 60 second breaks, we're, we're, we're drawing things up. Hey, we got to make this adjustment, and, and they did it. Um, you know, our power play, you know, it was great for them to finally be rewarded for some great puck movement. Um, you know, I thought our first penalty kill was solid. Second one, they got that quick goal, and that was a skilled play by them. You know, hat off again to them. But I thought we showed a, a lot of grit, a lot of perseverance, and, and the GB way, you know, and how we want to play and compete. You mentioned the power play. Power plays could be crucial, special teams going into these final two games. So you mentioned that goal. It was well worked. How crucial do you think that was going forward? It's huge. You know, you, you know, we need to be a team that wins at least the special teams battle one nothing. You know, we tied a team one one in the special teams battle tonight. Unfortunately, they got us five on five. Um, but again, with these last two games that we have, these back this back to back that we have with Norway and Austria, uh, we believe in our heart of hearts that if we play the right way, continue to play with that GB pride, uh, we can give ourselves a chance to win. They're sticking to the systems a lot of the time, even though it's not always going their way. It seems like they're doing what you want. How big is that for you going into the two games? Well, the, the, the belief that the guys have in Pete and the structure, and Pete and the coaching staff, that in the structure and what we're preaching, um, you know, is it, fantastic. And, you know, the, the guys want to execute. They want to do it right. Mistakes are made. It's the nature. It's a fast game. Hockey's a game of mistakes. It's the old coaching cliche. But, you know, the, our guys are making mistakes because of effort. And if they do make a mistake, the sacrifice block shots um, you know we saw a number of great block shots you know Ollie Lake or our D uh, was really proud of the guys that way we talked in an earlier interview about the experience of being here that was some noise tonight wasn't it it was unbelievable you know I, I looked up one of the timeouts and I think I saw 18,000 people jumping in unison um, you know it was an unbelievable crowd it was an unbelievable environment and that's a reason one of the reasons I wanted to come and, and be part of this is to, to be part of something that special and I, I know we still have 120 minutes of hockey left here um, but we believe in our heart of hearts it's going to be a, a fantastic 120 minutes Evan, how many positives can you take from taking such a good team, eighth best in the world, so deep into a game there, getting a goal and, and really good defensively tonight? Uh, yeah, like you said, you know, we played pretty well defensively. I think, you know, the team's buying a little bit more into the identity that, that Pete and the coaches want us to play. So, you know, every game's kind of a learning process. And like you said, they're eighth in the world and got a lot of NHL guys. And, you know, I, I, I want to say we bent a little bit, but, but we didn't break, I think. You know, obviously the guys defensively played good and, and Bouncy played really well. So it's just one of those things we're constantly learning and, and trying to get better throughout the tournament. Last time you met them, I think it was 6-1. There's quite a lot of examples at this tournament of you improving from the last time you met those nations. Is there real evidence now that, that you have a belief that you belong at this level and can take it to these teams? Uh, yeah, like, you know, like we've always believed. I think, you know, we've kind of earned you know, a little bit of respect and a little bit of a right to be here, being up here for, for four years in this group. And, and, you know, obviously going down one division, then getting promoted right back. So I think, you know, we've, we've kind of, you know, earned our right here. And I think, like you said, it's, it's, a, it's a good feeling to, uh, to just see improvement playing against teams like this. You know, it's not one of those things where it's going to improve overnight. And it's not one of those things where we're just going to automatically be at the same caliber as these guys. Like, obviously, you know, they got NHL players and, and guys who did play in the NHL. So... You know, it's, it's going to be a challenge whoever we play. You've got a close-knit bond in this room. It's often talked about how much is that helping you now to kind of see through the week towards these big two games you've got coming up. Yeah, it's, you know, the guys get along great. And, you know, we got a pretty, pretty weird group of guys in the room and, and everybody's got a good sense of humor. And, you know, we just, we just have a good time. And I think, you know, in, in these tournaments, it's, it's kind of easy to get down and, and get upset with a lot of stuff you know it's it's a lot of tough games and you know obviously the the games aren't always going to go your way so you know it's it's good to have you know guys in the room that will pick each other up and, and cheer each other up, like up and you know kind of kind of make it a little easier on you